Hey guys, today is Monday, October 5th, and I have about 25 eBay orders to ship out. But before I get this video started, I want to tell you about a YouTube channel that I've been watching lately called Hustlin' Hooks. It is a married couple named Adine and Melinda, and I originally found them on Instagram. I think they've been on Instagram a lot longer than they've been on YouTube. So they have been resellers now for, I think, a year or a little over a year, and they have just been amazing. They've been doing a really good job. Uh, I've been following their journey, and it's kind of incredible how fast they've learned and grown as resellers like they're they're selling a ton of stuff and they are working really hard their channel name is appropriate because they are both hustlers so i wanted to give them a shout out if you guys haven't checked out their channel i highly recommend doing it i'll put a link down below in the description first thing we're shipping is right here i went ahead and pulled this from my storage unit it is three autographed NASCAR photos. I got these last year as part of a bulk buy. I think I've got about $3 into them. Uh, they sold for $19.99 free shipping. These are going out to your name, Wayne. Wayne, thank you for the support. Really hope you like these photos. Next is back here in F1. Move this rack out of the way so I can get to it. This is a vintage uh, racing jacket. Let's see here. The brand is Simpson. Got this in a private pick up in Piqua when I went to see Dana and Parker. And this is a really nice jacket. has some value, but this one has some condition issues. It had some holes and some small tears uh, here and there. Like here's one right here. If it was in mint condition, um, I think it could bring upwards of around $100. But as it is, I turned on best offer. Somebody sent an offer of $30 plus shipping, and I accepted. And that jacket's going out to viewer named Anthony. Anthony, thank you for your business. I really appreciate it. All right, next thing is up in this big Rubbermaid tote. Let's see if I can get this down without breaking anything. This is the rest of the Playmobil RC train stuff that I bought. I got two big totes of this stuff for $25. I sold one lot already for $50 plus shipping. And this one right here sold for $69.99 plus shipping. All right, next thing I'm pulling is in C3. This is a Game Boy game. Uh, let's see, the getaway. Um, I've got two dollars into that. It sold for fifteen ninety nine, free shipping. We're going to A five next, and I think I sold a handful of things out of here. Um, I know that I sold each of these. Um, these are Dayton, Ohio pipe and drum core patches. I had two of these. Each one of those sold for nine ninety nine, free shipping. Sold a Miami Dolphins hat. I'm sure it's this one right here. Yeah, that looks like it. Uh, I've got a dollar into that. That sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Let's see. Also out of here, I sold a couple lighters. This one and this one. Bring these over here and see what they sold for. This one right here sold for $14.99 plus shipping. And this one sold for $19.99 free shipping. Those three lighters are going out to viewers Kevin and Randy. Thank you guys both so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Kevin also asked that I shout out his eBay store. It's Mr. Black's Market. I'll put a link down below in the description if you guys want to check it out. All right, you guys might be curious how I'm going to ship these patches. So I'm going to show you. We're going to keep them protected and also keep it lightweight so that it's not super expensive for us to ship it. So... I keep spare pieces of cardboard laying around for a variety of reasons. A lot of times I gotta ship things like this and they come in handy. So I'm gonna take this piece of cardboard and I've got this scoring knife. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna line it up kind of on one side. We're going to score the cardboard right down the middle. Now that's gonna fold over and keep that patch nice and protected. So I'm going to tape it. And put it in a bubble mailer, just like this. If you guys have eBay stores, you can get these bubble mailers uh, when you get your uh, store coupons. You can use it to buy these. Or you can get them uh, actually a little bit cheaper. If you don't want to use your coupon for that, you can buy them on eBay. So if you guys need these, I'll put a link down below in the description. And this one weighs 1.6 ounces. Um, so this is going to ship right around $2.80 or so. So not too bad. All right, next thing we're pulling is an A2. It's a couple more patches, but these sold for a little bit more money than the previous ones. All these patches I've been selling, I got at a garage sale in Dayton 
about a month ago. It was like 80 patches or so, and I paid 40 bucks for all of them, so I'm into each one for 50 cents. These two right here are going to the same buyer for $139.98 free shipping. And he also got these as well. I actually didn't even have a chance to put these away before they sold. Um, these two sold the same buyer for $79.98 free shipping. And something I want to point out about these. Um, first thing is I use Google Lens to figure out what these were. I had a viewer tell me about Google Lens and my brother-in-law told me about it too. And what it is, is it's basically just the Google app that you download on your phone. And you can search for an item. So you just... Tap search like you're going to Google an item, and then you just hit this little lens thing, and it pops up what it is. So that's how I knew that this was a 16th Fighter Interceptor Squadron patch. Now, when I searched that on eBay, I couldn't find anything. I found it on WorthPoint, one that had sold for like $400, but it was bigger, and the stitching was totally different, and I was convinced that mine was a copy, like a fake. I wasn't going to list it. But I reached out to my friend Chad, the Golden Finger Picker, who has dealt a lot with patches. He knows what he's looking at. And he's like, no, they're probably not copies. He said that a lot of times when guys are stationed overseas, they would just have, you know, somebody locally make a patch that, you know, had that logo or emblem. So it wasn't military issued necessarily. So, Chad, thank you for the tip. If you guys don't know about the Golden Finger Picker, definitely check out his channel. He is very knowledgeable. He knows a lot of stuff. And he's always, you know, free and willing to share his info. So I'll put a link down below for his channel if you guys want to check it out. Now these patches, because they sold for so much money, um, I am not going to ship them in a poly mailer. I don't care to, you know, pay a little bit extra for shipping. So I'm going to put these in a box and I'm going to pay priority mail um, so I can add the proper insurance on those. Okay, next is up here D8. Let's pull this down here. It is a Thor Dorbs. Let's see here. That one? Is that Thor? Yeah, looks like it is. That's sold for $5.99 plus shipping. Let's go next to your name, Braden, who says, Hey, John, love the channel. Been subscribed since 25K. Would love some stickers if you have any. Braden, thank you so much for your support. I'll be happy to throw in some stickers for you. All right, we're going back to F1. I guess I could have just stayed in here earlier. All these spark plugs. I've had these about a year and a half. I got them really cheap, clearance down about 50 cents each. Um, and I have them listed two for $9.99 free shipping. And one buyer bought two lots of two for $19.98 free shipping. All right, shipping a couple hats. Next is an A4. This is a Pittsburgh Penguins hat, snapback. Got a dollar into this, it sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Next hat is down at A5. I forgot that I actually sold two Dolphins hats, not just one. Um, also have a dollar into this one, just like the other one. And it also sold for $14.99 plus shipping. All right, next thing I'm pulling is an A4. It's a lot of three Yes CDs. Um, I got a big lot of CDs about three weeks ago at a garage sale. I have right around like a nickel into each one, and these are the last of what I sold. I paid like 20 bucks total for all the CDs, and right around like $120, $130 in sales. These three sold for $12.99 free shipping. Next is in B4. This is an old practical color photography book. I don't do a whole lot with books, but anytime I find older ones that are specific to um, like photography or I sold like a beekeeping book any kind of like niche books like that I seem to do well with I paid two dollars for this it sold for $29.99 plus shipping next is in B1 I actually sold a handful of things out of there uh, let's see first is this calculator it's an HP 12c got this at a garage sale last weekend for 50 cents that sold for $18.99 free shipping Next is another patch, uh, Pacemaker VF-121, that sold for $12.99 free shipping. And last is this Army Strong license plate, that sold for $8.99 free shipping. Let's go on out to viewer named Celestino, who goes on YouTube as a Hollywood reseller. Thank you so much for the support. Really hope you like the license plate. Okay, next thing is a bumper sticker. Got about a nickel into this, it sold for $9.99 free shipping. A bumper sticker is going out to viewer named Chrissy. She says, hey John, saw this was the last one, I had to pick it up. Thank you for the entertaining and educational content on your Cincinnati Picker channel. After watching you and a few others, I've been reselling part-time for three months, and I'm loving it. That is awesome. Love to hear that. Keep up the good work. Throw in a couple stickers if you can. Christy, KDSW21 on eBay. Love it if you could link me to one of your videos. Christy, thanks for your support. I'm happy to link your eBay store down below in the description. All right, last thing we're pulling today is a car. This one right here. Um, the box says Shelby Cobra, but it's actually not a Shelby Cobra. It is a Chevy Nomad. 
So in the listing, I did not show the box. So I'm just putting it in the box for extra protection. And I even left a little note for the buyer um, explaining why it's in a different box. So uh, that's all for $14.99 plus shipping. I got it at a garage sale three weeks ago for $4. All right, I sold something else at a D8 that I didn't catch earlier. So we're going to go ahead and pull this down. I think it is this one right here. Yeah, Aurora from Sleeping Beauty. Uh, this sold for $5.99 plus shipping. Your name Cassie bought that. She says, hello, I love your channel. I've learned a lot that's helped me really ramp up my business over the last year, even though I've been selling for 10. I also really appreciate your advocacy for the foster program as a lot of people don't know enough about it. Thank you, Cassie. This is going to be part of my sister's Christmas gift. I'm on Instagram at isn't it neat flips and bye bye baby 12 is my eBay store name. All the best to you and your family. Cassie, thank you for the kind words and I really hope your sister likes that figure. It's Tuesday, October 6th and I have eight eBay orders to ship out today. First is right here in B1. Actually, a couple things sold out of here, so let's just pull the whole bin. I sold this Pete Rose glove that I just picked up last weekend for $5. That sold for $29.99 plus shipping. And I sold one of these Jack Daniels uh, cinch sacks for Jack Daniels bottles. And that buyer got something else too in D4. It is a cross pen right here. The pen and the Jack Daniels bag together sold for $30.98 free shipping. Viewer named Jay bought both of those items. Jay, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. All right, next thing I sold is right up here. This is an old hammered copper watering can. Got this quite a long time ago. I think it's been maybe six months I've had it. I paid $10 for it at a garage sale. Wasn't really sure what to price it at, so I think I had it around 100 bucks for a while. Uh, somebody sent me an offer of $40 plus shipping, and I accepted. Next is in C1. Something I just listed yesterday, actually, and I think I'm pulling a couple things out of here. So let's move this. Um, let's see. First thing I'm pulling is a power cord for a Sony PSP. Um, I just got this last weekend with the PSP and all the games and everything, but unfortunately the PSP didn't really work. I had to sell it as is. But I sold the power cord separately for $13.99 free shipping. That's going on to viewer named Drew who says, Thanks, John, as always. Need this charger for testing. Sunshine State Sunshine State Picker on YouTube. That's a mouthful. And Rat Dog 44 on your eBay store. Drew, thanks for the support, man. Means a lot. All right, I'm pulling a couple more things out of here that I just listed this morning, actually. Uh, let's see. It's a couple patches. I don't think it's those. Here's the first one. This is a 355th Tactical Fighter Squad patch. That sold for $14.99 free shipping. And the next is a 91st Tactical Fighter Squadron patch that also sold for $14.99 for shipping. Next is down in B6. It is a science fiction book. I think I got a couple in here, so I'm going to make sure I get the right one. I think it is this one right here. The Year's Best Fantasy Stories, number 13. Got this at a garage sale about two months ago. I've got 10 cents into it. It sold for $7.99. Plus shipping. Your name Carl got this for his girlfriend Marissa. Thank you so much for the support. I really hope she likes this book. All right, last thing I'm pulling is an A5. It is some more patches. This time it's a lot of three. And I can't remember if it's this one or a different one. I got so many patches. I want to make sure that I ship out the right ones. It might be these right here. Let's see. Yeah, it's these right here. It's the 4,950th test wing. Um, these weren't super valuable, so I lotted all three together, and they sold for $9.99 free shipping. It is Wednesday, October 7th. I have nine eBay orders to ship out, but first I want to answer a couple of viewer questions. And if you hear my neighbor out there doing some work, he's making a lot of noise, so I apologize for that if it's too loud. Okay, first is from Macy Smith. Hey, John, I am 12 years old. I love your videos. Can I please get a shout out? And I have a question for you. What are your tips for throwing a yard sale? Me and my sister love doing them, but I would love to know your ways of making it smoother. So I've only had a handful of my own garage sales. I've been trying to do like one a year the last few years just to clear out a bunch of stuff that I don't want. Uh, my best advice is price everything cheap. Really, really cheap. <laughs> like just price it to sell. Um, give people good deals because you got to get rid of stuff. The idea is to get rid of everything. 
Um, also go into it knowing that you probably won't get everything, you know. Not everything's gonna sell. A lot of it you just gotta take to goodwill. But I'd say that's my best advice. Start early too. There's a lot of people that'll show up early and buy some stuff. All right, next is from Ben and Lillian. Question from the UK. We have car boot sales in the UK, which the season ends around now. Is there uh, at similar end of season for garage sales? He's talking for here. If so, how do you refresh stock in the downtime or do you supplement with your death pile or unlisted items? Keep up the great work. Uh, thank you for the question. So yeah, I usually have an overflow of inventory. So like right now, going into fall and winter, I've got a pretty good stock. Um, it wouldn't last me probably more than a couple weeks though, to be totally honest. In the past, what I would do is I'd hit thrift stores, I'd hit auctions, you know, variety of things like that. I personally haven't had a ton of luck hitting local thrift stores. You'll, I'll find stuff now and then, but the total time invested versus what I find, I don't think is totally worth it. So I've stopped going to thrift stores. I do still go to auctions sometimes because I can get a lot of inventory at once for a relatively cheap price. I feel like the ROI on auctions is better than thrift stores. Not as good as garage sales, obviously, but it's still pretty good. Also, last off season, like last, like the fall and the winter of 2019, I was really lucky that I had a lot of viewers reach out that had a lot of excess inventory that I bought from, and I've now developed some relationships. So I've got three or four people that I can call whenever I'm low on inventory and I can kind of go shop around. One that comes to mind is Mojo Casher Threads. Uh, Josh and the gang, they're not too far from me and we have a working relationship where I go over there once every few months and buy some stuff. You guys have seen me make videos and you know do stuff at their place and they're just awesome people. Um, so if you don't, haven't seen their channel, definitely check it out. I'll put a link down below. And if you're in Cincinnati, um, I have given their info out to people before. Josh is cool with it. So if you guys buy vintage clothing, buy vintage toys, that type of stuff, you want to meet Josh and the gang, uh, shoot me an email. Email's down below in the description. I'll be happy to forward along their information. Okay, first thing we're pulling today is an A4. It is an autographed baseball I got down in Tennessee, um, signed by the minor league team Chattanooga Lookouts. I got a ton of these. A good amount of them have sold, but I still have a lot left. This one sold for $9.99 plus shipping. This is going out to viewer named Nicole. Nicole, thank you for the business. I really appreciate it. Next thing is in C1. It is that PSP and games that I just recently picked up from that garage sale last weekend. Um, unfortunately, it did not work, so I had to sell it as is parts of repair. I've got $25 invested into it, and I sold the charger already um, for about $10, and these sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Those are going out to viewer named Michael, who says, Love watching you find amazing things, and also the podcast. Michael, thank you so much for the support, and I think we're going to be recording another podcast tonight. Um, we've been off for a couple weeks, but we're going to get back on it. If you guys haven't listened to the podcast, it's called Guys Without Jobs. I'll put a link down below in the description if you want to check it out. Next thing is a Jeff Gordon sign right here. This is long metal sign I got a few months ago at a garage sale. I've got about $5 into it. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next two things are in D7, right up here. It's a couple of Funko Pops that I just listed yesterday. First is Zombie Wolverine, right there. And next is Zombie Mysterio, right there. These two I got uh, for free from my buddy Randy that sent me some stuff. So Randy, thank you so much for that stuff. These two sold for $24.98 plus shipping. The buyer didn't say that they're a viewer, but the uh, username looks really familiar. And I think it's a viewer named Chandler. So Chandler, if you're watching this, thank you for the support. I really hope you like this Funko Pops. Okay, next thing's in B2. This is a big lot of Pokemon cards. I picked these up at a garage sale two weekends ago for a dollar. And I decided to do an auction with these. I've done an auction with Pokemon cards before because I don't really know what I'm looking at. And I don't really want to look up, you know, 150 Pokemon cards individually and see if any of them are worth anything. So I just decided to do an auction. I started it at a dollar and it took lots of pictures, you know, trying my best to show everything in there. And they sold for $34 plus shipping. Your name Richard actually got these. Richard, thank you for the business. Hope you like the cards. Next thing I'm shipping out is a puzzle, D1. This is a Disney uh, Thomas Kincaid 4-in-1 puzzle. Got it at a garage sale for a dollar, sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Next is a Coleman thermos cooler water jug thing, whatever you want to call it. 
Got this at a garage sale two weekends ago for 50 cents. It sold for $24.99 plus shipping. And at the time, I didn't know what that code meant, uh, but somebody left a comment and said that the 6210 means 1962, October 1962. So, if that's the case, this thing is almost 60 years old and in pretty decent shape, too, for the age. And that's going nuts if you're named Monty. Monty, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. All right, let me go ahead and put this D7 bin back. And I'm going to pull D8 because I sold something out of here. It is Dorbs. Uh, Thor Dorbs, actually. This one right here. This sold for $5.99 plus shipping. And that is going to ask a viewer named Brandon. He says, hi, my name is Brandon from Reedley, California. And I'm currently in the U.S. Army station here in Colorado. I'm a really huge fan. I always look forward to seeing new videos. Keep up the good work. Would love to hear my name on your next video. Thank you. Brandon, thank you so much for the support. And thank you for your service as well. All right, last thing I'm pulling today is a pair of golf shoes. These right here. They are FootJoy brand. I got these at a garage sale last weekend. Um, he was asking 40 bucks. I offered 20 and then we settled on 30 and they sold pretty quickly. They sold for $69.99 plus shipping. It's Thursday morning. I have 14 eBay orders to ship out today. And first thing is in B1 is a U.S. Army license plate new in the packaging. I'm sure you guys have seen me sell a bunch of these. I started with like 30 of them or so and I've only got a few pennies in each one. This one sold for $8.99 free shipping. Let's go to that viewer named James. James, thank you for the business. It means a lot. Next is a hat in C4. This is a Houston Oilers NFL vintage collection. Uh, so it's like a retro, like repop type hat. Uh, my buddy Randy actually gave this to me. So Randy, thank you for the hat. Uh, this sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next is a game in E4. And I think I might have sold, yeah, I think I sold a couple things out here. So we're just going to pull the whole bin. The first thing that I know I sold is Wii Sports um, had a few, you know, scuffs and scratches not in great condition, so it sold for a little bit less than what it normally would. I got this yesterday as part of a big uh, bulk buy of video games, so I've got maybe a buck into it. This sold for $16.99, free shipping. Next thing we're pulling out of here is Beatles Rock Band for the Wii. Also in that same lot of games that I got Wii Sports, this sold for $8.99, free shipping. That Beatles Rock Band game was going out to a viewer named Sam who says, I'm a big fan of your YouTube channel. You're a big reason I got into reselling on eBay since I got laid off from a job. If you could give my eBay store a shout out, I would really appreciate it. My eBay store is SamDillo78. Thank you. Keep doing what you're doing. Sam, sorry to hear about your job, but I wish you nothing but the best of luck with eBay. All right, next thing we're pulling out of here is a Nintendo DSi with the charger and game. Also part of that bulk video game buy from yesterday. Um, so I've probably got about $5 into it. Um, honestly, I thought this would have been worth a little bit more. Um, these DSIs just are not selling for a whole lot of money. Mine had a few cosmetic issues, so it was worth a little bit less. Um, but it still sold for $24.99 plus shipping. And that is going out to viewer named Juan. Thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. All right, I think that's it for E4. So we are going to go ahead and put that back. Next thing we're pulling is a lot of 20 Xbox One games. These right here. These are also in that big lot of stuff I got yesterday. A lot of these weren't, you know, super valuable titles. That's why I did a big lot of them. There's some sports titles in there, like Halo and various things. Uh, the 20 games sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Next is an A5. It is the last piece of the Playmobil RC train stuff that I picked up at a garage sale uh, two weekends ago. I paid $25 for everything. And the rest of the Playmobil stuff I sold for 120 plus shipping. And this one uh, train car piece with the box sold for $34.99 plus shipping. All right, next things we're pulling are in D7. I actually sold two things out of here, so we'll just go ahead and pull them both. First thing we're pulling out is a Funko Pop. This is Shuri from the Black Panther. That sold for $7.99 plus shipping. And the next thing is also a Funko Pop. Luke Skywalker and Yoda, right here. Um, both of these Randy gave me, so thank you again, Randy. Uh, this one sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Next is a hat in D2. This is a Never Compromise golf hat. I've got about a quarter into this. It's part of a big lot of hats that I bought. It sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Your name Gavin bought this. Gavin, thank you for the support. Really hope you like the hat. Next is down here in C6. It is this Kingdom Hearts figure. Uh, let's see. 
Black Coat Mickey. Is that right? Yep. Um, this is also part of a bulk buy. I've got a little under a dollar into this. It's sold for $7.99 plus shipping. Your name Jesse bought this. Jesse, thank you for the business. I really appreciate it. Next thing we're pulling is an iRobot Roomba vacuum right here. It's got the charging station and everything. Got this at a garage sale last weekend for $30. I gave it a good cleaning and tested it and it worked great. And it sold for $89.99 plus shipping. Okay, next order has three items. First is in B1. It is an Air Force patch. And the other two things you're pulling for this order are also patches. Next is in C1 right here. It's pretty cool. 90th Tactical Fighter Squadron Pair Dice Patch. And the final one is in C5 down here. The 476th Tactical Fighter Squadron Patch. Um, all three of these patches I got at a garage sale about a month ago. I've got about 50 cents into each. And all three sold to the same buyer for $60.97 free shipping. Okay, last thing we're pulling is a laser disc. It's the Changeling. I've had these for quite some time. Um, I bought a bunch of laser discs as part of a bulk buy, gosh, maybe like nine months ago. Um, I got about a quarter into each one. I had this one listed for $20 uh, plus shipping or best offer. Uh, a viewer reached out and offered $10 plus shipping, and I accepted. Let's go and ask if you're named Ronnie. Ronnie, thank you for the support. It means a lot. It's Friday morning. I have 14 eBay orders to ship out, and a few of them I went ahead and pulled from my storage unit. First is this uh, Adam's Sand Wedge. I got this. Or I'm sorry. Adam's Pitching Wedge. Uh, I got this at a garage sale. Actually, it was a church sale. It's been about six or seven weeks. I paid a dollar for it. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And next is a Maruchi bat that I got two weekends ago at a garage sale. Um, part of a bundle deal, some gloves and stuff. So I think I've got about $5 into this. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And then right behind me, I've got some PS3 games. Um, these are part of a bulk buy I made a couple days ago. So I think I've got maybe $10 into these. Um, I already pulled out the ones I wanted to sell separate and these I just lotted up. It is a total of 28 games and they sold for $29.99 plus shipping. All right, next we're going over here to C3 and I know I sold a number of things out of here. So we're just gonna pull the whole bin. Let's see, first thing is a Minecraft game. I think I sold two Minecraft games out of here. The first is Xbox One. This one right here, that sold for $13.99 free shipping. Next thing I sold out of here is a patch. This one right here is part of the um, Air Force patches I got about a month ago. This sold for $14.99 free shipping. Let's see, the other Minecraft game I sold is the Story Mode version. Uh, that sold for $10.99 free shipping. I sold a uh, DS game, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. For 3DS, that sold for $26.99 free shipping. That game's going out to a viewer named Adrian. He says, keep up the great work, awesome channel. Adrian, thank you for the kind words. I really appreciate the support. Sold Uncharted 4 for PS4, new in the plastic, for $11.99 free shipping. And last one we're pulling is Resident Evil Revelations 2 for Xbox One. That sold for $7.99 free shipping. Next thing we're pulling is an A1. It is an Ohio Renaissance Festival mug. Um, this is something they have every year. Uh, it's maybe like 30 minutes north of Cincinnati is where they have it. I got this at a garage sale for a dollar. It's been about three or four months ago that I found it. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Next is a lot of Wii stuff. It's in this box right here. This is two uh, Wii consoles, and let's see, four Wii motes without the backs, and three nunchucks. The consoles didn't work, unfortunately, so I sold this all as an as-is lot, and it sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Okay, next thing going down is in B1. I actually sold a couple things out of here. Let's see, not you, Rue. You gotta stay. Um, it is a couple of these Jack Daniels bags. So this one right here and this one. I might as well have patch up here too. I'll check and see. Um, I got these two bags at a garage sale last weekend for a dollar each. Each one sold for $9.99 free shipping. I'm sorry, $10.99 free shipping. One of those bags is going out to a viewer named Larry. Larry, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. All right, it looks like that is it for B1. So I'll go ahead and put that back. 
Next thing is an A4. It is this Cooper hockey helmet. I got this at a garage sale two weekends ago for a dollar and sold for $39.99 plus shipping. This is an old helmet and it would have sold for more money if it was in better condition. There's some damage here and damage right here and damage right there. So yeah, it's in pretty rough shape, but it is highly collectible. Um, if it was in perfect condition, it might have sold upwards of $100. So definitely keep an eye out for vintage Cooper hockey helmets. Uh, if you guys are out and about thrift stores, garage sales, wherever you're buying stuff. All right, last thing we're pulling is an E4. It is Resident Evil 6 Anthology. That sold for $11.99 free shipping. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.